Bereshit, Genesis 19. And there came two angels to Saddam at evening, and Lot sat in the gate of Saddam. And Lot, seeing them, rose up to meet them, and he bowed himself with his face toward the ground. And he said, Behold now, my lords, turn in, I pray you, into your servant's house, and tarry all night, and wash your feet, and ye shall rise up early and go on your ways. And they said, Nay, but we will abide in the street all night. And he pressed upon them greatly, and they turned in unto him, and entered into his house, and he made them a feast, and did bake matzah, and they did eat. But before they lay down, the men of the city, even the men of Saddam, compassed to the house round, both old and young, all the people from every quarter. And they called unto Lot and said unto him, Where are the men which came into you this night? Bring them out unto us that we may know them. And Lot went out at the door unto them and shut the door after him and said, I pray you, brethren, do not so wickedly. Behold, now I have two daughters which have not known man. Let me, I pray you, bring them out unto you, and do ye to them as is good in your eyes. Only unto these men do nothing, for therefore came they under the shadow of my roof. And they said, Stand back. And they said again, This one fellow came into sojourn, and he will need to be a judge. Now we will deal worse with you than with them. They pressed sore upon the man, even Lot, and came near to break the door. But the men put forth at their hand, and pulled at the Lot into the house to them, and shut the door. And they smote at the men that were at the door of the house with blindness, both small and great, so that they wearied themselves to find at the door. And the men said unto Lot, Have you here any besides, son-in-law and your sons and your daughters and whatsoever you have in the city? Bring them out of this place. For we will destroy at this place, because the cry of them is waxen great before at the face of Yahuwah. And Yahuwah has sent us to destroy it. Lot went out and spoke unto his sons-in-law, which married his daughters, and said, Up, get you out of this place, for Yahuwah will destroy at this city. But he seemed as one that mocked unto his sons-in-law. When the morning arose, then the angels hastened Lot, saying, Arise, take at your woman and at your two daughters which are here, lest you be consumed in the iniquity of the city. And while he lingered, the men laid hold upon his hand, and upon the hand of his woman, and upon the hand of his two daughters, Yahuwah being merciful unto him. And they brought him forth, and set him without the city. And it came to pass, when they had brought them forth abroad, that he said, Escape for your life. Look not behind you, neither stay in all the plain. Escape to the mountain, lest you be consumed. And Lot said unto them, O oh, not so, my Adonai. Behold, now your servant has found grace in your sight, and you have magnified your mercy, which you have showed unto me in saving at my life. And I cannot escape to the mountain, lest some evil take me and I die. Behold now, this city is near to flee unto, and it is a little one. O oh, let me escape thither. Is it not a little one? and my soul shall live. And he said unto him, See, I have accepted you concerning this thing also, 
that I will not overthrow at this city for which you have spoken. Make haste, escape thither, for I cannot do anything till, till you are come thither. Therefore the name of the city was called Soar. The sun was risen upon the earth when Lot entered into Soar. Then Yahuwah reigned upon Saddam and upon Amora, brimstone and fire from Yahuwah out of the heavens. And he overthrew at those cities and at all the plain and at all the inhabitants of the cities and that which grew upon the ground. But his woman looked back from behind him. And she became a pillar of salt. And Avraham got up early in the morning to the place where he stood at before Yahuwah. And he looked toward Saddam and Amora, rather Amora, and toward all the land of the plain and beheld. And lo, the smoke of the country went up as the smoke of a furnace. And it came to pass when Elohim destroyed at the cities of the plain, that Elohim remembered at Avraham and sent at Lot out of the midst of the overthrow, when he overthrew at the cities in which Lot dwelt. And Lot went, went up out of Soar and dwelt in the mountain and his two daughters with him, for he feared to dwell in Soar, and he dwelt in a cave, he and his two daughters. And the firstborn son said unto the younger, Our father is old, and there is not a man in the earth to come in unto us after the manner of all the earth. Come, let us make at our father drink wine, and we will lie with him, that we may preserve seed of our father. And they made at their father drink wine that night. And the firstborn went in and lay at with her father, and he perceived not when she lay down, nor when she arose. And it came to pass on the morrow that the firstborn said unto the younger, Behold, I lay yesternight at with my father. Let us make him drink wine this night also, and go in and lie with him that we may preserve seed of our father. And they made at their father drink wine that night also. And the younger arose and lay with him, and he perceived not when she lay down, nor when she arose. Thus were both the daughters of Lot with child by their father. And the firstborn bore a son, and called his name Moab, the same as the father of the Moavim unto this day. And the younger she also bore a son and called his name Ben-Ami. The same is the father of the children of Ammon unto this day.